Good day, everyone. Today I will be doing a unboxing and installation of a three foot dancing LED light whip by Kamimoto. This is going to be a universal UTV accessory that uh, I will be installing on my Honda Talon. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Turn it around here so we can see a little better. Kimimoto did provide this product for me in exchange for my evaluation and installation of their product. So the first thing we see is what's included is a light whip with base, flag, mounts for the flag, RF remote, and mounting base cap. And this, this is the two-piece kit, so I read it wrong. It's two pieces of each of those things. Here's one of the light whips. And here's the other one. Things to consider before making a choice of a light whip uh, would be how tall does it need to be. I don't ride dunes, so mine doesn't have to be exceedingly tall. The purpose uh, behind my choosing a three foot light whip is because, uh, especially for groups, it's important to be able to keep track of each other, and especially in forested areas, uh, a light whip or some sort of a rear mounted light makes it a lot easier for others to see where you are. Another consideration would be where you store your UTV. If you're storing it inside of a trailer or if you're storing it in a garage, maximum height of your whip should be considered before purchasing because it's not going to be beneficial if you have a very tall light whip and it won't fit in your garage or your trailer. Of course they do make spring mounts I guess but uh, that's another topic. So there's the two light whips. You can see they come with flags. and flag mounts. And then here is the RF controller for operating the light whip. I also just wanted to include a close up here of the light whips themselves. Uh, they look to be made of really sturdy grade uh, aluminum. Uh, it looks like they're CNC machined. The light whip itself looks to be very stout. So it looks like it should be a pretty durable unit once installed. Here you can see the kit pieces are all laid out. Uh, this is the controller that's operated by this RF remote. Uh, they have complete instructions for the remote included. Uh, looks like an adequate length of cable you may need to provide more cable, which I'm almost certain that you will, unless you're connecting it directly to the battery in the back, in which case this may just work the way it is. Uh, one thing I appreciate about kits is instructions. Uh, as you can see in these diagrams here, they show 
two ways of installing your kit. Uh, things to consider when installing any electrical device on your UTV is uh, power and protection. Uh, in this scenario here, they do, they do suggest using a 10 amp fuse, which I will be doing. Uh, in this one, they also suggest using a relay and a 10 amp fuse and offer that it can be operated by a switch. And then they give you complete instructions for, for doing both of those things. I always recommend using a relay that is connected to the ignition system so that there's no chance of accidentally leaving the lights on and stranding yourself. So let's get to installing. Okay, so for the light whips, um, I am using a fuse panel that I installed quite a while ago. Uh, this is where I've connected the light whip. You can see there's a 10 amp fuse there. Uh, ground is down here, right there. I ran it uh, 18 gauge wire through a protected cable cover up the pillar and tucked it up underneath this area here so it's not visible and it's also protected from the weather so I like soldered connections better than <clears throat> crimp connections especially for things that are going to be out in the weather so I am going to be using uh, some of these solder terminals that are also heat shrink tubing I've had pretty good luck with them uh, be sure to use the same gauge wire as they use. This is 18 gauged wire here. Uh. Give it a tug, make sure that it is nice and solid. I like to finish it off by covering it with another piece of heat shrink. Going towards the back, uh, you can see the whip connection here. I've tied it down using tie wraps. Kind of hidden it on the back side for aesthetics. Cable goes up through there. This is where it comes or exits the cab. Uh, if you can see, I ran it along the back side or the underside of the roof there. And in the very center is where, right there, is where I mounted the RF receiver. Sort of uh, centered it in between the two because I wanted to. Uh, keep it out of the weather and water as much as possible. So it's tie wrapped right there. Let's see if this works. Okay, I've just, uh, I've actually just turned the ignition on. I haven't used the uh, remote control here yet, but I'm gonna give it a try. Here's off, on, brightness. Color. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the red. Green. Blue. Yellow. Orange. Oranger. There's just so many different colors here. I guess that first color was purple. Uh, but you can turn the brightness down. You can turn the brightness up. And then there's 
different modes of operation. That's pretty cool. I'm just cycling through the different modes of operation here. So many of them. Anyway, uh, beautiful. They're just beautiful.